Detectives Phelps and Earl here to see the coroner. Yes, Detective. He's waiting for you in the examination room. Yes, hello, it's Twin Peaks. Or Mad You're Men. You're looking for I Sheriff I... Troutman. Mad Men. Paul, Roy, I have some information for you. I've got some answers for you. You're the only person enjoying this, Mal. Get on with it. The bruising confirms two sets of hands, so we have two killers. For sure. Death was or caused Goro. by heart failure due to an overdose. It's abortion. conceivable. Have you or Kintaro. We already heard your theory. We agree that she was murdered. <gasps> yes, of course. It was she. I have something else to show you. Oh, no one. Ex uh, no, everyone. All right, Mal. What Whoa, who the fuck is Dead that? His name is Jimmy LeBlanc, oh. career burglar. He came in this morning. Someone stove his head in with a lump of two by four. So what? Good riddance. I found two surrettes in his jacket pocket. Wow. Hang on a minute. <laughs> no sign of morphine use. It's amazing. And no metabolized Roy morphine has his in his blood. Scratch marks on his face. Which could be from getting his head remodeled. Time of death, Mal. Maybe an hour or two after the Randall girl. Suspicious. So you're saying laughing boy here could be one of our killers? That's a hell of a long shot. Thanks, Mal. We'll check it out. I found something else. Eager. Ooh, I got more stuff. Eager ass. Oh, examine the corpses. Check out all the fun shit I have. Toe tags. Look at all this shit I found in her. That's crazy. That's mm. most people don't have that much. Almost spoiled something. Not gonna spoil it. Okay. What? I almost spoiled the wire with with, with what I was about to say. Ah. Uh. Uh. What's up? What, what crazy shit you have? A microscope? That's insane. Mentos? Gum. Gum. Sorry, I don't play. I don't know if it's significant. His I don't even know what that is. The only other things he was carrying were the harmonica and the morphine. Wow. That was weird. That's the, th what the big important thing yet to show us. Interruption music. Yeah, he's here. I'll send him over. They have a guy called Henry Arnett in interview two for you next door. Get him. Get Let him. me know how you get on. Sure, Mal. And thanks for the lead. Yes, we'll sure, look for Mal, the biggest the harmonica lead. salesman. <sighs> Fuck you, Roy. Oh my you god. You goddamn bloody fucking... Uh, what a massive pile of shit. You bleeding vagina. You're the worst. I don't... Who the fuck is your partner in arson? I don't even know his name. I, I don't well, remember Well, we'll get there, won't we? I'm asking Pat. I, I know, I know. Okay. I, gave him a I also don't... Remember what he was like, and I like him? Mr. Arnett, I'm Detective Phelps. This is Detective Earl. Thanks Mr. Will Arnett. Me. Call me Henry. John <laughs> Ham. Almost, but not Terrible quite. news about Julia. You did it. Arrest him. Kill him. Kill him now. I mean, he is, uh... Handsome gentleman. How well did you know Julia Randall? This is the distinguished man who wore the I'm smoking the jacket. Business, and Julia occasionally modeled for me. I thought that your fiance told us that you knew her and introduced them. Vaguely, I'm in the clothing business, and it, someone knows someone a lot if when they're asked, "Do you know them?" and they say vaguely. Come clean with us, Arnett. Was Miss Randall your mistress? Is that how she could afford such a lavish lifestyle? That's a ridiculous allegation. How could you possibly prove that I paid for Julia's things? The smoking mm. jacket's not going to do that. No, no it's, the smoking it's... jacket is just his. Mm -hmm. But was there anything? That's what he said. Well, the ring, smoking pearl jacket, ring, pearl the, ring. The smoking jacket doesn't even believe to belong to him, and the pearl ring is for his actual fiance. Oh, who, what was the name of uh, Henderson? The, Henderson, Henderson, not Henry. Right. Okay. All right. So maybe you don't have anything. Maybe I just got to doubt him. Looks like I made a mistake. Yeah. Yeah. You made a mistake. Or coerce. P press. I think. Press. He's asking whether you banged her in a chuck on the shoulder fraternity kind of way. <laughs> I'm engaged to be married. It wouldn't be polite. Answer the question. Polite. This private. Heather won't have to know. <laughs> yes. We had big relations. Had relations. It was rather impolite of me. <laughs> I was getting all impolite in there. I got put impolite in several locations. Miss Randall's landlady said she was seeing an older man. Could have been. I wasn't privy to all the details of Julia's private life. Uh, I'm gonna go. Vaguely, I vaguely knew her. My penis vaguely knew her. I don't like when people lie. I had the idea of her. She was yeah, but not much Henderson. more than that. You know who I'm talking about. Easy on, detective. I may have heard of Henderson, but I don't know his full name. I 
think he's from New York or someplace back east. I can't do anything no. about that. I, I don't think. It Matt? was murder. No, murder! I, I can't do anything about that. Sorry. Sometimes you have to shake there the tree is. to see what falls out. That's my favorite one. Yeah, no, I understand. I understand. Yeah. All I can do is doubt your dumb face. Uh, Spill no. Henry. You know oh. nothing about a man named Henderson? Uh, yes, you're, you're right. Henderson, yeah. Very distinguished. Okay, so I, th I thought I was confused. How about confused. a first name, wise guy? An address, maybe? I'm sorry, I don't. Fuck. I think that it was, was an important one. Town, somewhere back east. Oh, well. <sighs> what about LeBlanc? Matt yeah, what about Matt LeBlanc? Jimmy LeBlanc? No. Should Pronounce the C? Is, is he an entertainer or something? Uh, oh, this fuck. Depends on how I feel. <laughs> Fart. Do you have any evidence on that? I think you're lying. I think Randall was a high-priced hooker, and this Henderson character didn't want it to come out that he had been seeing her. I think he had LeBlanc and an accomplice bump her That's off. That's a I hell of a fucking is, deduction. His identity. I think you've been out in the sun too long without your hat. Prove that I know that's a Henderson that's a push, is. man. That's a big ass push. Yeah, that's rough. Tell him about the tree. The, the Joshua tree. Sorry, my mistake. All right, yeah. Tell him about the tree. Yeah, what was your mistake? Maybe use intuition because you're already fucked up once. Or... I, you're not. Mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. That was that. So you wouldn't have any reason to believe that LeBlanc would be involved in Julie Randall's murder? If this guy Pronouncing is the criminal, C is he, he throwing me off. Involved. It is. But, like I said, I've never heard of this LeBlanc character. Heather told us that you were in fashion. That's right. Here's my card. I didn't want to arrest you. need a nice new hat. So I gave oh, the the yeah. feeling of his card. Some kind of traveling sale. I never felt this menacing well, I feeling. Four, I used my... You were in the Marines. It's sure. a warm press. I'm proud of it. The font. Fighting six. You were in the sixth Marines. Yes. I was a captain. Which company? Uh, various. Companies. He wasn't in uh, the uh, casualties. Which engagements? Okinawa. A couple of other places. That will be all for now, Henry. Oh. Uh, I don't even old. need Cole to call him out. Cole is too nice. Cole is too nice. That son of a bitch was never in the Marines. Why'd you let him off the hook? Yeah. Because we're giving him a couple of minutes before we start tailing him. <laughs> Annette is an amateur. We need to find out who killed the girl. Can you pass this on to Bukowski? Have him check the place out and go through his records. Sure, I'll pass it on. Text. I don't know, sir. He's busy eating pierogies in the, the rack room. Jimmy LeBlanc and I need them. His last I need those mm -hmm. goddamn pierogies. Have him get in touch via KGPL when they have some information. You know, it's always funny, like, the, like, you hear about the news story about that guy that would dress up in, like, fake, uh, military uniform with, like, fake badges and, like, go on the news and, like, stand at all parades and funerals and stuff. And it was just like... For what gain? Just so that people would treat you with a ton of respect. Yeah. Wow. He was squirming like a worm in there. Cause, don't you uh... Love it when they pull the war hero excuse? Yeah. Actually, maybe you don't. I um, don't actually. No, my a cousin of mine was in Fallujah and is like a super duper, like, cool guy, and like, when uh, and he got to be like on the Super Bowl like floor and all kinds of cool shit. Yep. Yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. Well, he's dead. <coughs> and the treatment you get is incredible. Yep. So like fucking phony ass motherfuckers want to get in on that. I guess. And they just head on down to the surplus. It's like pretending to be a millionaire. Yeah, kind of. But more respectful, because you, you don't yeah. respect millionaires. Yeah, because you get... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just like, you know, you I get, mean like an old man millionaire, like, yeah, like, any, like any, a monocle. Yeah, any Mr. Monopoly man. Yeah, everyone respects him. Any store you walk into is like, you know, hey, thank you for your service and all that. And if you're a fucking fraud, you want that free hot dog. Man, I know if I was in the war, I'd demand a free hot dog from anyone I fucking met on the street. I didn't cook one up. I didn't come back as to not eat a hot dog. Spit on you do the hot dog. Yeah. You don't know how many people I killed to get that hot dog. I did it all for the hot dog. The days of Lieutenant Dan are long gone. Uh. This is just like you know you're swapping war stories with your friend in the trenches. We're like, what do you what do you find when you get home? 
to get home, man. You got a girl. And I'm like, no, I want a hot dog. Yeah. And they're like, There's, you're the best man I ever met, this Matt. Is hot, this is hot dog stand near my house. Oh, man. And, and the guy running it, he said that if I came back a big war hero, he'd give me a free hot dog every day. <laughs> I'll trade you this challenge coin for a hot dog. And then I'd ask another guy, what do you fight for? He's like, man, I have this girl at home, but never I also really like spaghetti. You know, it's good to talk about spaghetti. I don't care about your girlfriend. Oh, he's just, now he's grumbling on about how he lied about it. As he should. And now it's really, it's eating him up. Well, because yeah. when you've seen shit, like Cole's seen shit, dudes like Someone that are the fucking to worst. Be you. Yeah, yeah, I can see that. Where'd you get those medals? I bought them. Ass kicking will now commence. <laughs> the cops are like, that's fair. There's this weird thing where hot dog medals. apparently it's okay in some circles to wear your dad's medals because your family earned them, but I don't know about that. That's can, weird to you me. You can display them in your house and be like, That's look, check pride yeah. for your, your name. And I'm, I'm going to go ahead and say no, it's not. It's weird because you didn't earn those medals. Yeah, no. And you're also probably assuming that people think they're yours. Yeah. If my dad was the karate champion, I wouldn't wear his medal. Money and you fast. fucking liar. Yeah. Like if your dad was an you'd Olympian, you'd be wearing it right now. If your dad was an Olympian, you'd wear you'd put his medals on and walk around like I'm an Olympian. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, if you're if you're yes, you would. I believe it mean, you absolutely yeah. would. <laughs> well, if your dad well, if won the one headband the that proves here. he's the strongest and just left it out, you'd fucking wear that. You get killed in like two seconds, seconds, but I mean you. Wear it for those two. Yeah. You get exposed so easily as no, soon as someone challenges you. No, if fight. you're a very good liar, you take a while at least for people to know. Oh man, there's this guy that like he was famous for uh, like lying about his black belts and his amazing skills. Uh -huh. And one time he got a ride from like a friend. You gotta, you gotta get closer, man. He's been flashing. Yeah, the whole yeah, time. I see it, I see it, I see it. I don't know if you can get that close. He's right there. He's that guy in the blue suit. Yeah, this is the distance you want. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So this was lies, the, that was the turnaround. System. So he lies about all his black belts and shit, right? And then one time a friend, like, rides, gives him a- he's like, yeah, Why you're- Why gonna turn around? Damn it. Where were you supposed to hide anything? The right in the little thing the there. Nook. In the cubby? In the little oh, yeah. cubby nook. So he asked the friend to give him a ride out to the middle- basically the middle of nowhere, right? right. And he walks out with, uh... Okay. His, 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 whatever, like, his backpack, and then, like, uh, uh, just, uh, a, he's, and he, uh, covered garbage bag with an, an object in it, and he goes out, and he's like, yeah, I'm going to fight in this kumite in the middle of the woods, and it's a super death kumite, but no one knows about it except for the masters of the world, Yeah. and yeah. I'm, so I'm going in there to fight, so come pick me up tomorrow, and so he drops him off, and the guy goes out into the forest, and then the next day, his friend picks him up, and he fucking uh, no, it's too far back here. Hold on. And then his friend picks him up, and then he pulls out the same garbage bag, and he sees he has a statue, a uh, trophy in it. And he's like, "Yeah, I won. I won the Kumite. This is the trophy they gave me. All right, you can drop me off at home yeah, now." That sounds Do familiar. we know that guy? No, no, no. Because it sounds like a story a guy we know would tell. Super insane, old dude. Well, the, there's the guy that like supposedly was at the real Kumite that the movie Bloodsport is based on. He wrote his memoirs. And he said, like, oh, yeah, the military, the U.S. military and other militaries around the world would contract me to, like, tell their soldiers, like, how to actually fight because I'm the greatest fighter in the world. And then lots of people, like, would follow him and be like, oh, he's the great, greatest, he's the best martial artist ever. He trained with all these masters in Japan. And when people would actually try to... Oh, come on. How? How? <sighs> okay. Well, when people would try to confirm whether they were, they couldn't. But they couldn't doubt him either. Slack. And he okay. always oh, wears sunglasses belts. indoors, which is incredibly suspicious. Reminds me of, uh, that dumbass Dick Marcenko. You know that guy who got that fucking yeah, Rogue Warrior, Warrior based Rogue off Warrior, him? Yeah. You know what the deal with that, that, that fucking game is? What? It's based off of a series of, like, military novels by Dick Marcenko. So, Dick Marcenko was a special ops guy, right? And he did dirt. Yeah. And he used his dirt doing skills and adventures as the basis for his character, right? Mm-hmm. Problem being, it was a little too true to life. To the point where his former superiors are like, you need to fuck quit that shit or you're going to jail. You cannot talk about that shit. Oh, it was way too accurate. Way too accurate. <laughs> and then he was like, okay, I'll change it. And then he made a completely fictionalized... 
version of those events that has no basis in reality and turns him into a goddamn superhero. I see. And then, and then, and then Mickey Mike, Rourke, and Mickey Rourke gets in on it, swears in, and makes a song in yeah, the credits. There you go. Didn't even know he was making a song. No, uh, the the credit song is a, like a song out of the swears in the game. Oh yeah, I would know. Yeah. Oh, you would know. You made that game. Made it. It was him. Well, he made that game. On two hands. Ah, video games aren't one of those things you get to have that moment. I built this with my own two hands! Like, eh... You built it with your mind. And a lot of other people, yeah. Yeah. A lot of shit I've been testing is coming up for some reason. It though. has, it has. I don't know why. And it's weird, because you stopped testing like four years ago. <laughs> Wrong way, Cole. No, he's got it. No, it's final workout. Staring at the pretty pictures. Aokua. Travel company. Aokona. Yeah. What a pretty little office. <laughs> That's right, Mexico City. One way ticket, please. Right now, Next right now. Do, 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 that do. Would be one day from now. Is that okay? It's going to have to be. Uh, okay. Cole walked to the background. Did you see him? I saw him. Inconspicuous. Looking behind the wall like Kiryu. Man just came in here. He bought a ticket? Yes, sir. To Mexico City. Tomorrow night. If you hear from him again, don't mention this conversation. Oh. Sneaky like a what ninja. What have you got? He bought a ticket from Mexico City. Tomorrow night. That's good. But this is better. <laughs> What? Cell phone. It's Fabergé. Oh. Should have seen the look on the pawnbroker's face when I told him to hand it over. The guy who owned the joint thought it was worth at least 10 large for a cigarette case. Arnett only got 600 clams. Why are you another voice actor? Can't even fucking read that. Dearest Beverly. With, With love and affection. Aubrey. Harry. Always. Always G. Yeah. Pleasure. He's got the sneezles. Ooh. Not a do. You have a few more days to live. Enjoy. Hey, you're being told that you have one day to live right now. You okay? So yeah, what you're saying is, to fuck live. you. Just think. You what would you do? Or who would you screw? screw? Where would you go? And who would you want to notify? I saw his picture in the paper. 24 hours to live that, before you die. Down. I'm gonna... I'm gonna throw poo everywhere. Operator, no one can stop me. Die. Uh, that's not much different if you didn't find out you're gonna die. Phelps badge 1247. Alright, here it's we go. It's not that different. Yeah, you're How right. How can I help, detective? Are there any messages for me? No, you have no yeah, friends. Detective. Wait, I mean, Galloway there's two messages. To from your station. friends. Yeah. We have information in the Julia Randall case. Any luck with the arrest record check on Jimmy LeBlanc? Yes, Detective. Jimmy LeBlanc's last arresting officer was Patrolman Fred Wallace. He's posted the Hollywood 9th Beat Sunset Boulevard between Gordon and Wilcox. Thanks. Well, you got a lot to do. A lot, yeah, this case is uh, it's it's taking a big, it's a big one. See that every day. It's off. Wow. I'm impressed That's by the really reverse nice. textures going on here. They Good didn't job. have to, but they did. Whoa! Cool. I want that. I want it. 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 I want couldn't you have just gotten to the back of the cab and just asked him to drive you I don't know if this game has a cab system. <laughs> I know, but I mean, for, for Phelps himself. GTAs do, but... Yeah, my partner sucks. Give me a ride. Sir, I need the contraband list. Item stolen over the last year. Hang on, I'll dig out a copy for you. Roy's like, there I didn't go. steal anything. Who said I did? Uh, no one, Roy. Is the cigarette case on there? Is the cigarette case on here? Gold candelabra. Gold cigarette case, second one. Fabergé. 
It's here. Tap, tap. That must be out of his mind trying to move this while under a murder cloud. Under a murder cloud. Black That's Sapphire ring. Amazing. Julia Randall's ring. It's here. Uh, oh, fuck. Chris DeCantra is some nice ass shit. The thing was, he was a real nice guy. There's only, only, the only names from uh, Beverly. Mm. 1008. Is there anything else from there? No, I guess that's it then. Or. I. Oh, I suppose so. I guess. Investigate evidence. Okay. Didn't uh, Galloway and and uh, Bukowski want to talk to you? They did. Or I, I could have sworn they did. Or was it about the list? No. I don't know. Would they be um, hanging out? Maybe they're hanging out on that veranda. Uh, the, well, the evidence is going to be where? Mm. And that, I'm thinking of moving up to a 45. Interview room, parking Stop. lot. Downstairs? Maybe. Yeah. I have no right. idea. Uh, if, Let's if go this, upstairs. If this isn't a DLC case, if, I don't remember this one either. I remember tailing the guy to the travel store. That's the only part of the case I can remember. Twist. She was 13. If she was a dead. I'll be honest. It's harder for me to remember the vice cases than it is to remember the, the, the uh, homicide two, cases. Yeah. Nope. Nope. Okay. I don't. Th going back to talk to somebody is something that hasn't been done yet. So that'd be a, a bit of a weird. Roy's like, what are we? Uh, what are you doing? Squad room, no. Alright, so then, perhaps, um... Do you have, like, a to-do list? I didn't want to arrest the kid. Unfortunately, so it does not appear that you do. Yeah. Oh. Okay, try this. Go out to the car, see if the police station's blacked out. Yeah, that's, that's the logical. There's the veranda. Yeah, I don't think anyone's out there. Maybe one day. Whoa. I want to make homicide. Look at Phelps go, that holy that shit. Oh. That no. Running yeah. in an interview three room <laughs> as hard as he can. <laughs> Ready to scream at any child or woman or no, old person that's in you there. You made it. Steal that police car. Yeah, police. Where are we going? We did it then. Yeah, Hollywood Knife Beach. Let's see it. Okay, well, hold on a minute. No. Go faster. Fuck this boring car. Jesus. It's probably the fastest, bestest car in the game. What about Until that, that one? Oh, fuck. This is a bad idea. <laughs> is that a fire truck? Yes, it's, a, it's an old school fire truck. Drive. I just, I'm not fucking going? driving this, Cole. Drive it, Roy. Fuck. You're not good for nothing. Jesus, Cole. What's wrong with a good old fashioned <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> In style! <laughs> LAPD! I love the We're taking smile. over all the departments! Ah, whoop, whoop. The sound of the police! <laughs> what the? Come on, let's give him a hand. Oh, I but the fire truck was parked belt. outside, but then you're just in the shitty car! Wallace, go left. I'm going right out of this little prick in the alley. Oh, you're gonna fuck that guy up. I guess. Gun's drawn, though. Oh wow, look at him haul ass. Jeez. He's good. Oh, you can catch him. I don't think that counts if it's through a fence or some shit. What a bunch of crap. Oh, they're murderers. You should have shot him in the back, Wooly. Yeah. Well, not until the gun came out did we know. I am- I'm a lot of loss as to what's actually going on. Well, you showed up, right? And, and then, Willis was doing a thing, so okay. you're like, we'll help out Willis. Willis just being polite. Oh, that's unfortunate for you, buddy. Watch out, Paul. Oh, he's on the other side of the thing, like on the other corner. I just run up and pop him in the face. Yeah. It's an invincible strategy. Oh, that's fucking maybe, messed maybe, up. Yeah, maybe, maybe take, take five, take five. I'm wide open here. Well, then get out of the wide open, you stupid motherfucker There's boy. There's so much cover. There's an orgy of cover evidence. Yeah. Ah, murder. Murder's as good as murder murders. Thanks, murder. 
Murder's the real hero detective. Yeah, is, is Sergeant Murder? Yeah. Outstanding warrant, armed robbery. Knocked over a drugstore back there, and it looks like he brought his whole posse with him. Bad luck for them. They're all yours now. Yeah, all those we dead bodies are that yours. Heard of a burglar goes by the name of Jimmy LeBlanc? Sure. We just shot him. And Jimmy the White. Jimmy a burglary beef a couple of years back. They cut through a music shop and into a jewelry store. He got four years. I miss his partner, though. His partner? Hmm. Big guy. I had him cornered, and he picked up this huge display case and threw it out a plate glass window. Then he vaulted out of there like something out of Barnum and Bailey. He got away. I would have had him, except for LeBlanc yelling, run for it, Willie. Do you think he was an acrobat of some sort? More like a strong man, a wrestler, or a boxer, that kind of thing. Thanks. You've been a big help. What the fuck was that reference? You haven't done Barnum and Bailey? Yourself. Yeah. Some old show. Old comic book? Old, uh... I'm not sure it was a comic book. Old newspaper? Circus, man. P.T. Barnum? Ah. That's gotta be it, right? That, that's a know. reasonable assumption. You drive. I need to go over the case notes. The Ice Storm residence. Right, oh, to? man. That place sounds awesome. No, it's, it's Eve Strum. It's Eve Strum. When it's did double. Your car. Do either of you guys know when they took down the land off the Hollywood sign? Oh, um, when? I don't know, but. Wait, it used to say Hollywood land? It Absolutely. Is it says right now. I didn't know that. Yeah. Yeah, they, they took it down, I'm assuming, in like the 60s or the 70s. Maybe it just all fell over like a piece of shit. Mm, I don't think it fell over. Why did it say Hollywood land? Because it's a very 40s or like, you know, early early century thing to do. But the place isn't actually called Hollywood land. No, but I don't know. They're just more majestic back then. That's a weird. LAPD, ma'am. Is Mrs. Eve, Eve in? I storm oh, in? Is. Would you follow me, sir? You should firebomb this whole house. How may I help you? We appear to have recovered some stolen. I am the eye of the storm. Yes, of course. <laughs> that terrible burglary. Would you like something to drink? No, thank you, ma'am. We have some questions. <laughs> Rusty was mind. about to say yeah. Why would I mind, young man? If you are returning Roy. forty-three pieces of my property. Okay. But you would not be wrong for spots. Rusty Thanks. not accepting Straight a up. drink. Maria, can you get the detective a drink, please? On the rock. Give me the facts, yo hag. Yo Can you bag. To us what was stolen? How dare you keep information from us? Stolen, and the Hollywood detective. land shit is crazy. <laughs> I bet it is. A priceless tea. <sighs> Why would she be lying? The diadem. Someone years. stole the diadem of Ravenclaw. A cigarette case that was worth more than you. Twenty-five thousand dollars. Very exact number. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Why are you lying about the value of your jewelry, Mrs. Eastrom? Who do you think you are? <laughs> Making heinous accusations. It's heinous. Cubic zirconium. And I hate you, bitch. Uh, value. It's gotta be oh, that. She it's said, gotta be she that. said 25, so. We recovered the cigarette case from a pawnbroker. No one knows the real value of an item better than those guys. I inflated its value for the <laughs> They would know. Claim. Just roll your they eyes. I watch Pawn Stars. My daughter's boyfriend was quite taken with the case. I think he was even more disappointed than I was when it was stolen. Hmm. So you lied about your dumb jewelry. Who did? What can you tell us about the burglary? A terrible night. At least a year ago. But let's not go into that. Let's no, talk about you, no, I want covered. to know about the fucking burglary. I want to go deep into it. What, like, how is that a stopping point? I think you know more about this burglary than you were letting on, Mrs. Eustrom. There isn't an insurance claim involved, is there? Are you accusing me of having my own home burgled? How dare you? Look at firelog.jpg. Do you have That's for it. this scandalous remark? Oh, I'm old. We don't know anything about her insurance. Or that she would have her own burgled house. And this list is getting really complex. It's getting, it's getting a little I don't much. got nothing for this. Was it the train ticket? No. <laughs> okay. You're off the hook. 
for now. You're off the hook, bitch. Lady. Oh. I hate Furrowed brow. 